This is part three of my auxiliary light and GPS wiring install. The auxiliary lights and the GPS. When I turn on the ignition, which is energizing it here, you can hear the relay clicking. When that relay clicks, then I'm ready. Uh, my circuit is energized, so I have power here coming through to the uh, down to 30. 30 is coming out here. This is my power. 30 is the double red coming out here. One goes to the GPS switch, which is here. It's now energized. So when I turn it on, I get a green light. And this is going to be my red power to my GPS. I need to run another black wire from my ground in my GPS into this ground side of this switch. So I'll have to cut that one off and redo that. But the uh, auxiliary light is energized now. So when I turn that on here, you'll see lights come on. And if I forget to turn those off or if I want to leave them on, as I turn off my bike, when I turn off the bike, you're gonna, and I'm gonna do that by disconnecting the negative here, you'll see that the relay is going to click. On and off, on and off, on and off. So then when I'm, I can't drain my battery with my relay, uh, cause the relay will cut the power as soon as I cut off the ignition. But I can also, when I'm going down the road, or if it's nighttime and I can't run with my running lights because they're too bright, I can power down the running lights so I'm not blinding people. And when I'm in town, town I'll leave it off, no matter where I'm going. When I take adventure trips, I use my Garmin Zumo 550, and I've got it powered up, ready to go. So that's the prove out. I've got everything on the bike ready to accept this, except for the black on the uh, Garmin, I've got to run that line and tie it into this black one. So I'll show you next when I get it out on the bike. Got it wired up. Um, got it all packaged away. And I'm going to turn off the GPS. Oh, sorry, that's the aux lights. You see them coming on down below in the forks. The GPS is this one. Turned it off. Battery power, no. And when I turn off my aux lights, they go off. I still gotta get them mounted, but um, I got everything back together. Try to get some light on this black so you can see it. So I got everything back together. You can see the switches there. Place wires. Come underneath here and I've got them over the snorkel this time but when I change that air filter for the first time I'll run those I'll be able to get those behind the snorkel back there but I want to mess I get it I think you have to take the tank off to get the air filters off I'm not positive about that but I want to mess with it now but I've got my power wire coming in it comes into the relay here I think I can get everything back in we'll see when I put it back together and then right now, right now I've just got my lights just hanging from the um, light bar up front, but I think that comes off when I put my heat on. So you can see how I have the wires coming from the inside. I had to end up wiring the two switches with the terminal writing, the terminals going toward each other, so they kind of interleafed and like finger joint and then I was able to get these wires to come down here when I changed my air filter for the first time and I have that snorkel off I'll re these wires I don't have anything in there permanently I did I did leave the back bracket on I was able to get it underneath a zip tie here and have it be secured to the end um, hopefully I can get there's all gap in there and I can get the cover back on we'll confirm that in the next step all right, I've got it all back together. I'm going to do one more test before I button up and put on the fairing. But I've got this pin in here. I've got a push pin in here. 
I've put the bolt in here that holds that together and then this one here uh, this one here holds that on that's a non shoulder bolt I think and when I bring the fairing back on remember that fairings gonna come on it's gonna come in aft first and then swing itself around into the other um, push pins and we'll put in all the bolts I hope you guys got something out of watching the details of this video I've learned a lot from different people posting things on YouTube so this is my way of paying it forward I'll be posting more I have the heed crash bars to install I have a tutorial chain oiler that I'm going to show you how I've got that installed I've installed the Atlas throttle lock as well as the double take mirrors those are the mods that I've made so far and I will be getting a set of SW Motec pannier racks that I will mount to the bike because I already have the panniers off of my V-Strom we've got a group of guys here in southwest Ohio that ride pretty consistently uh, we're going to take a trip down to March Moto Madness at Teleco Plains, Tennessee. I think it's the 7th or 8th annual for 2019 coming up. Looking forward to that. I will be posting some videos and pictures off of that, but none of us have GoPros to really capture much of the ride so far. Maybe people will start uh, capturing that, and then I can share some of that on my channel. But uh, again, thanks for watching, and I look forward to getting more out there for people to uh, see what we're doing out here and what's going on with the Africa Twin.